What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 and today once again I am bringing you guys another figure review. Now we'll be taking a look at the last figure uh, from my latest toy haul and that is the Armored White Ranger. Now I'm quite excited to be opening this guy up because my display for my 7.5 inch line when it comes to the Bandai USA figures, is getting actually quite large, and I am really excited about that. Now, if you haven't watched any of the other reviews, I highly recommend you do so. Yes, some of them are quite long, so please forgive me for that, but I will make this short because there's not much differences here, etc. All right, so let's get straight to it. The only difference between this packaging and the Robo Knight and the Mega Force is the following. At the very top, for the Ultra Mode Red Ranger and the Robo Knight, you have the Power Rangers Mega Force logo right here. For the White Ranger and the Armored Red, you have the, two th um, the Power Rangers 20th Anniversary logo right there. Standard packaging, picture of the figure, picture of screenshot of uh, the actual character from the series, another figure, picture there, the figure and all his accessories there, the standard, everything is pretty standard. So guys, enough of the packaging, let's get this bad boy out of packaging and we'll take a look at what he's all about. Stick around, I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we are back. We finally have Tommy the White Ranger out of packaging and I gotta say, I am digging this figure. Um, it's the same body mode as the red and everything is pretty much the same exact thing um, but man I gotta say something about the tiger head and just the, the color scheme it's just great now real quickly I'll go over the accessories and then we'll take a look at the actual figure himself you get with your white ranger two close fisted hands or not close fisted but gripping hands you get a set of these open palm hands. Once again, it's just been reused us for all of the 7.5 line pretty much. Every single one got this set of hands. You get a set of his armbands right here. Pretty cool. You get obviously his shield, the tiger, white tiger shield, which is pretty much the same exact thing as the dragon shield uh, and how it works. You get these pieces for the boots, quite nice. And you get two of those for each feet, uh, each leg, I guess. You get these bracelet pieces, which just slide right up on in. So that's that. And lastly, one of the cooler accessories, Sava. Now, I'm quite happy and quite pleased with the amount of paint this thing got. You got the silver got the gold usually it will be just two different colors but when it comes to the Power Rangers 20th anniversary figures I, it seems like they did a little bit more work to them for example the red there his power sword got the whole color treatment and Saba here yes he's missing some paint on his head but for the most part it's actually quite nice so there we have it those are the accessories that you get with this White Ranger. Now when it comes to the White Ranger himself, gotta say I love his color scheme. Always have. I personally said this uh, earlier uh, when I was reviewing the SH Figure Arts version. I think I like the White Ranger more than the Green Ranger. It's just personal preference. I'm sure some other, some people like the Green Ranger more. But I just love the actual head sculpting on this guy. The white tiger, you see the eyes and just everything about it. It looks spot on. Um, you get this uh, diamond shaped here with the gold. His um, actual, what's it called, gloves and his boots are a little different because you don't actually see the diamond pieces. You see these triangle pieces, which is not bad. So that's pretty cool. The belt itself is different because this is obviously Die Ranger and uh, for us in the States uh, we got um, pretty much the White Ranger with the regular MMPR suits uh, so that was quite different but other than that pretty much the same exact body mold um, just different color scheme 
All right, articulation, same exact articulation we got with the other figures, left to he right, head motion, uh, upper diaphragm joint, waist joint, all there. The arms can go out, can fully rotate, bicep cut right there, uh, single joint at the elbow, a glove, a glove uh, rotation right here. The hands can fully rotate, can go in and out, can do everything you want it to. Um, yes, you kind of see this little piece right here, which is unfortunate, but whatever. The legs can go out, can go out that far because it's hindered by this weird muscle piece that they decided to put on there. It does have a thigh swivel built in right there. Single jointed knees, boot cut, feet can go out that far, can go up that far. All right, now let's take a look at him all suited up in his armor and everything. Guys, I'll be right back. I just need to get something real quick. Be right back. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Let's get this guy all suited up in his armor and let's display him. So we're gonna first put on his boot pieces because that's e fairly easy to do. Just line up these and bam, there's your boot piece. We're gonna do it for his other leg as well. Now, like I mentioned in my previous videos, you want to make sure you know exactly how you wanna display these guys. Why? Because if you keep taking these pieces on and off, then uh, you can wear the pain. So that's that, great. Now we'll take care of the, uh, I guess we'll take care of these pieces right here. I'm going to have to take off these hands, which are going to be a pain. <sighs> Always afraid to do this, this part. All right, so hands are taken off. Great. So we're going to now slide these pieces right up on in. Now this part's going to get a little tight, but this is exactly how they said to do it. Um, I tried taking this part out. You can do it, but I don't want to do it ever again. Why? Because it's quite dangerous. I'm just going to slide these pieces in. It's not that hard. So, I'm going to get his arm pieces nice and snug in there. Bam! There we go. We have oh, one band in. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. Now, if you wanted to take off the glove and put it on that way, you sure can, but I highly recommend you don't do so because you can definitely break um, a limb. And if you do, you just lost one of the more expensive figures. White Ranger is going for a lot more than the other Rangers like Green Ranger did. All right, so there we go. Then let's have these pieces go on. And as you guys can kind of see, um, some of the pieces don't like to stay on too well, like for example this piece, but we'll do, deal with it as we go. Alright, so this back in, this back in, okay, whatever. Alright, now let's put on the hand because the hand can get quite annoying. I just want this thing on so that I don't need to worry about it. This is one of the most stressful parts when it comes to these figures. Come on, yes. So, come on, stay on. Okay, on with the other hand. Hope you guys can see all this. Now, these loose pieces make it a little difficult because it gets really annoying and some of these joints are looser than others. So some of the rangers you'll be able to get it on pretty quickly while other rangers you're going to have to actually really finagle with it and it gets really annoying. So there we go. Okay. You go on. Okay. So harp pieces are done. Now just take his shield, move his hands out of the way a little, and you guys ready? Bam! We have Tommy all suited up, ready for battle. Now I gotta say, I really do dig this look. 
Uh, yes, it is the muscle bound version of Tommy, but he looks freaking epic. Quite satisfied. Now we'll just have his trusty partner Saba on his belt for now. Bam! That is pretty cool, guys. So, yeah, that is Tommy all suited up. Articulation is pretty much the same. The only hindrance you're going to get is the full rotation of the arms, obviously because of his, uh, his shield. But other than that, you maintain all of his different articulations, so that's that. Guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos. I'll have more figure reviews for you guys up next. And once I get the Blue Ranger, the Ultra Mode Blue Ranger, I will be reviewing that as well. So stick around for that. Thank you so much, guys. This has been really just a lot of fun. This is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.